So today I'm talking about a Hyundai with the P0420 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0420 code? Well, it's a catalyst system efficiency below threshold bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the vehicle's computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the engine. And then the second thing they do is they also have heater elements built in and the heater elements monitor the catalytic converter. And when they see that the catalytic converter is falling below a 97% efficiency, then they're going to report this and the computer is going to send out a P0420 code. And Bank One has always decided the engine with the number one cylinder so if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And then the opposite of that is bank two. If you have a four-cylinder engine, then it's not going to matter because you only have one bank. But if you have a V6 or V8 engine, then to find bank one, you find the number one cylinder. And that's going to be bank one side of the engine. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is to go locate those bank one oxygen sensors. And this can be a little bit different. It's going to depend on the vehicle, the year, things like this. For example, here's a 2003 Hyundai Santa Fe. And as you can see, here's the bank one sensor one. Here's the bank one sensor two. This exhaust is off a 2016 Hyundai Volster with the 1.6 liter. And here's the O2 sensors. And this right here would be the catalytic converter that these two are monitoring. So it's a good idea to go find a diagram for your particular Hyundai that points out where all the O2 sensors are. It just makes it easier. But the first thing to do is to go locate that bank one side oxygen sensors. And then once you locate them, the next thing to do is to test them. Some people would replace them, but you can test these if you want to. The heater side of these elements that's monitoring the catalytic converter can be tested with the multimeter. Basically, Basically, that heater element works kind of like a light bulb. If it blows out, then it's just not working no more. So you could test it for continuity using ohms. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, there's some good ways you can go about troubleshooting these two. So there's some different ways you go about testing these sensors. And so if you go through and you test those O2 sensors and you know they're good, then the next thing that's going to cause this problem is that there is an issue with that catalytic converter. And again, there's some different ways you go about testing this. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, you can look at the heat of the O2 sensors and see if it's building up heat before the catalytic converter because quite often what happens with these is, is that they get clogged up and then the heat's gonna build up before the catalytic converter instead of after it. So if it's hotter before than after, then that's a sign that it's clogged up and it's gone bad. You can also use these little low cost infrared temperature guns that basically measure the heat before and after the catalytic converter. And if it's hotter before, then that's a sign that it's clogged up and that it's failed. But there are some different ways to go about testing the catalytic converter. But the next thing to do would be to test that catalytic converter. Also be aware of any wiring going to those O2 sensors. Or basically just keep in mind that anything wrong with the wiring going to those oxygen sensors is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor. So be sure to keep that in mind. And another thing that can cause this problem is that there's some kind of engine problem going on, like a leaky injector or something like that, and it's just causing an issue that's clogging up the catalytic converter or throwing those sensors off. And so there can be an engine problem with this code, but usually if there's an engine problem, then you're going to be getting other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. And so that's basically